Well, this has been uh, an interesting time for all of us, and especially for performers with no real outlet to uh, get out and perform. And we hope that uh, that doesn't doesn't discourage you from continuing your quest to develop your craft because we all know that at some point uh, we look it back to normal and um, we uh, as teachers appreciate all of you we want to encourage you and uh, we're very proud of you for the work that you do the fact that uh, that you love music and um, without further ado, I want to say uh, thank you to all of you students, to the parents, the family, brothers and sisters, cousins, aunts and uncles, everybody that supports you and to your teachers, all the teachers uh, that are here represented today, all the teachers that have supported you before because um, it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of pe people um, behind the scenes before, during, and after. And, uh, and some of you who are students now may well turn into teachers down the road. So we want to encourage that as well. Um, if you have, this is kind of an informal slash formal slash informal uh, type of situation. So even though you're muted, feel free to, to chime in with comments. Um, and if you have a question or anything, you know, feel free to, you know, wave your hand or something. If, if something, if you just have to say something, uh, it, we will be happy to, to uh, interject, let you interject and, and say something in between. Um, and when we're, when we come to the end, I, I hope you all have your, uh, hors d'oeuvres all set out like we always do for recital, the end of the recital. <laughs> I know I have my, um. I have my nothing bunt cakes set out in the <laughs> the little buntinis. I don't know if all of my students remember the buntinis. <laughs> at, at the end of recitals, we always had those little cupcakes. They were really good. Hello? Yes. Can I just interject that at the end of the recital, uh, we'll unmute, Lo will unmute us. We can chat. And uh, at the end of the recital, we will have applause but I will count it so we can all be unmuted and applaud at the end of the recital. So just be prepared to have a real, a real applause at the end of the recital on cue. Yes.
is Jaden Zing, and he is six years old, and he's in first grade at Kip Luminary School in Los Angeles. And um, he's been taking piano for less than a year, and we've been doing a lot of study on Zoom. So he's been a very good student, and uh, I'm thrilled to introduce him playing My Moonbeam and Minuet. Okay, there we go. Bonfante, I don't know that she got on because she said she was having here. internet issues. She's is here. she here? There she is. Yay! Okay. Bella is um, a wonderful dancer and she's now studying her singing. She's a sophomore at Flint Ridge Prep and she was in the cast of Pippin this spring right before COVID kicked in. And uh, she's a member of the Los Angeles uh, Children's Chorus and she has done. Um, uh, beautifully in her time where she's had to study with through Skype. I'm always amazed at these these uh, students who do so beautifully with uh, a compromised teaching environment. But she's going to sing Beyond My Wildest Dreams from The Littlest from The Little Mermaid. Thank you, Bella. Somewhere beyond my wildest 
what you might be. Great and strong, my prayers are for the friends of Look at it all, we call it to hope. The things you could taste here, marvels to war, and even more. Gee, that I went to case here, and the criminals, all of the girls, cross all these extremes. Just look at me, and you'll see some of the other Then Suzanne? Yes, okay. The next one is also yours. All right. Lauren. Um, Lauren Knapp. Now she is, um, a, well, she goes to Ramona Convent High School. She's going to be a senior in the fall. And she most recently was in, uh, the, was the role of Rapunzel and in Into the Woods at Cathedral High School. And the year prior to that, she was in Hamlet at St. Francis High School in 2018. As I said, she's going to be a senior, and she's been with me in this studio for, I can't believe it, three years. <laughs> well, Lauren's going to sing uh, Colors of the Wind from Pocahontas, and both Bella and Lauren participated in our workshop with Rhonda Carlson that, that just preceded this recital, uh, a Zoom sessions with Rhonda Carlson. So here is Lauren Knapp. Think I'm an ignorant savage, and you think so many places. I guess it must be so. But still I cannot see If the savage one is me How can there be so much that you don't know? You don't know You think you own whatever land you land the earth is just a dead thing you can claim. But I know every rock and tree and creature has a life, has a spirit, has a name. You think the only people who are people are the people who look and think like you. But if you look at the footsteps of a stranger, you'll learn things you never knew. Colors of the wind. 
Okay. The next student is Taryn Yamato. I don't know if Taryn is, has joined us or not. Um, today's her birthday. <laughs> and uh, she just, I got an email from her last night saying, oh no, is that today? <laughs> We're going out of town. <laughs> so she had sent me her videos and then she and her family just realized they weren't going to be here for this. So, um, but I'd love to play her videos anyway. Um, Taryn is 14 and she'll, she was really excited about uh, her first year in high school this year. Uh, she lives up in Palos Verdes and uh, she's going to, uh, oh, she told me the name of the high school. And it's Peninsula, it's or, not, Pal it's, Peninsula it's, or Palos Verdes. I think she's going to Peninsula. She, um, I, I think, I know it's one or the other, but I think she's going to Penn. <clears throat> anyway, uh, she competes every year at, at, at uh, Nats events. And last year she, she won first place in her grade in her age group, which was, you know, uh, middle school for pop and second place for musical theater. So, um, uh, here she is doing Here I Am from Dirty Rotten Scandals, and then she'll be doing, right after that, she's doing Some Things Are Meant to Be from Little Women. Would you look at that cup ceiling? Look at that chandelier. Excuse me, but how I'm feeling is a hundred proof. I can raise the proof. I'm so happy to be me. Had a missing old daddy. Sort of in a spin since Cincinnati. The morning flight, a major war, but then they opened the cabin door and zoom to horse. Here I am. Lord knows I have the will and the resources. The mom and dad kept saying, Watch your horses. I guess these ponies couldn't wait. Pardon me, folks, but they look that game. I may be late, but here I am. Oh, the way to be to me is fresh. The way to say love is fresh. So here I am, the monster bear, a big two weeks on the air. If I'm only dreaming, please don't wake me. Let the summer sun and breezes take me. Excuse me if I seem too soon. I promise I'll find my mama soon. But everywhere I look, it's like seed from a book. A random book, and here I am. I mean, the air is French, the chair is French, this nice and dear sincere is French, the skies are French. The pies are French, those guys are French, these fries are French. Pardon me if I my own the handles. No French house on earth can hold a candle. So many beady, beachy folks, let's face it, just be beachy folks. Excuse me, won't buy spells. I'm living my genesis wine. I'm sorry, shall find fear.
Andrea is a, a junior at Wilson High School in Hacienda Heights, and she was uh, she was the uh, victim, I should say, of of her high school spring production of Susical, not getting right up to performance date, and then we had COVID nineteen, and she was playing Gertrude in Susical, and I don't know that they did anything online about it, so. All of that rehearsal and then no show, which I think a number of you have probably experienced. But uh, she took uh, second place in Musical Theater High School Division in Nats this last 2019. And what you're seeing here is her performance at the Nats Extravaganza in January. And it's much more from Harvey Schmidt and uh, Tom Jones's Fantastics. Louisa sings this song. I'd like to swim with a clear blue stream where the water is like sea gold. Then come to town in a golden gown and have my fortune told. Just once, just once, just once before I walk. is a singer who has been with uh, the studio for a couple of years and she is a cabaret artist. She uh, grew up in Germany where she actually began her cabaret work there and then she came to the U.S. and the most recent work she did was at Rockwell Stage and Table uh, with a cabaret, her cabaret act and today she is, uh, she's a social worker and um, pursuing her passion for singing and she's going to sing smile charlie chaplin's smile Oh, you're always thinking. 
She only needs one name, apparently. <laughs> her, name is, her name is Greta. <laughs> Greta, I apologize for that. This was a this was a mistake made about three o'clock this morning. Uh, Greta Cox is my student, uh, who's been with me for several years, and um, she is. Uh, she graduated from high school up on the hill in Palos Verdes, or uh, Rancho Palos Verdes, I believe. And uh, last year, and was all set to go to college in New York City. And then she, she went to, I believe she went to France over the summer, didn't you, Greta? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute, mute, unmute Greta for a second, um, because. She took a gap year, and now she's getting ready to go back. <laughs> but where is she now? Greta, where are you? She's getting ready to go back to school. There she is. She's there. Where are you, Greta? I see her. I know you're there somewhere. She's there. I see her. I see your mom. I see her. Oh, there you are. Hey. <laughs> Greta, where are you where are you going to college in the in the fall? I'm going to the Hart School in Connecticut. Connecticut. Yes. I was thinking you were going to New York. And you, went to, you where did you spend the summer? Last summer I went to Paris for uh -huh. it was fun. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Tush, tush. Oh my dear. Well, that's worth it. That's worth a, a gap year, I guess. Anyway, 
uh, now Greta, I'm going to use the recording that we that you originally sent me because the one that we did yesterday, it didn't, it wouldn't sync up <laughs> the video and the audio. It was wonderful, but it doesn't, <laughs> your lips are moving and the sound is over here. So we're going to, we're going to use the one that you originally sent me. your shirt this morning I don't know why I don't know why Mr. Reynolds said to say hello I started to cry I started to cry every place we Gorgeous song and beautiful performance. Yes, and Layla has come on. Yes, she's here. 
You were stuck on the freeway or something. <laughs> uh, you know, what's special about Layla is that um, she was originally for years a student of Lori Moran. And for, so I've had her for a very short period of time, a, a year or so. And um, so th this is a, a, a duo project um, here um, and with a lot of history and a lot of good training. And um, she goes to Peninsula High and um, she's going off to a music school up in Hollywood and I have forgotten the name of that. Um, Layla, can you say what the name of that is? Oh, oh that's she, muted up probably. Can you unmute? Oh, yeah. Okay. I have to find her. All right. We'll take the time to do that. Okay. Let me unmute her. There she okay. goes. Hello. <laughs> so um, in the fall, I'm going to be starting a year-long music program at a school called Icon Collective. They just expanded to a location in Burbank. And so there I'll be learning like singing, songwriting, recording, that kind of music business, that kind of stuff. And then after that, next fall, um, I'll be starting to get my degree uh, in what yet, I'm not sure. But <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm doing a little bit of both. Well, I think that's a really wonderful thing. And, and, uh, Thank you. and so, and also she's been getting set up in an apartment and moving out and doing all the college things. And so Exciting. <laughs> student. I'm very, very lucky that Lori uh, gifted me with her. So today she's going to sing crazy. Good job, Layla. 
Okay, we just got some new people come to the come to the party. All right, uh, <laughs> Arthur just joined us. Oh, good. Okay, so next up is another one of my students, Kelly Kudlik, and uh, Kelly started studying with me. Oh. Uh, five years ago, I think, um, back in Los Angeles before I moved to Florida. And um, she's been studying, <laughs> studying with me via Skype for the last couple of years. Three years, yes. last three years via Skype, isn't it, Kelly? I think so. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm sure she's just cringing every time watching me go through all the pains of Zoom. Ah, I will I will get this down eventually. Um, anyway, uh, Kelly is going to be a sophomore. Well, she is a sophomore, starting her sophomore year at um, Cal State Fullerton and in their theater program. And it is a nerve-wracking cut program. <laughs> One of those hateful things. But uh, it's a wonderful program. And Kelly has been doing theater uh, probably as long as I've known her. And uh, she lives, she just moved into a new house. And I don't know what else to say. She, her dogs bark every time she starts singing. Her lesson, <laughs> it's a good thing we have mute right now because as soon as they hear the music playing, her dogs are gonna, she has little yappers like mine. And they're going to start yapping. So it's a good thing we're going to mute you, right, Kelly? Yes. I mean, they only they only bark when I warm up, and then they get annoyed and stop, shut up. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to hear Kelly singing "Stupid with Love" from Mean Girls, and "Once More I Can See" from Wonderland. Yeah. 
Richard, um, I'm a piano teacher out of Los Angeles, and I just want to say before I start that thank you to everybody who's put this together. I know there's glitches. I think it's been beautiful. We've never done this during a pandemic. So Lori, thank you for, I've been working under you for 14 years. Suzanne, Barbara, everybody else, Steve. Um, it's just been amazing so far with all the stuff that's happened. I'm presenting only one of my students because I'm doing another recital in August that people are welcome to join in as well but I am bringing a student that Lori introduced me to and taught when she was living in LA. Her name is Louise. She had studied piano previously and has been taking lessons with me for a little over three years, less the COVID time. And she practices more than double the time physically of every other student I teach, yet with the enthusiasm <laughs> equally being the time that she puts in, thus making her my AKA favorite student, because she's the only one that gets it. <laughs> and she is really and makes amazing meals when I come over there very late at night at my last South Bay student. So when not practicing piano, Louise loves to travel the world, share her life with her wonderful partner, Dave. She also loves all sorts of animals and has become the foster to chickens, squirrels, raccoons, <laughs> living inside the house, as well as the untamed or tamed usual pit bull foster that no one else wants to do. And sometimes for very good reasons. She also loves exotic food, very crispy and unusual as well. We won't talk about the feet. Today, we're going to enjoy the first movement of Frederick's Coulot, Sonatina in F Major, Opus 59, Number 2. 
Although Louise has played not only this full piece, which we don't have time for today, she's also completed reading the entirety of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, not just the first movement, but all three. I'm honored to present her today with a prepared appetizer of her true talent and honored to be her teacher. So ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy Louise Reha. glad to see Arthur here. Um, his Chinese name is, I'm going to try this, Zhao Li. And um, uh, he is a student of mine at Loyola Marymount University. And he's known as Arthur um, occasionally too. Um, he comes from China and from the western side, very far from Wuhan. Um, Western side of China, and of course is multilingual. Um, he also is a master in a number of uh, um, martial arts like Jiu-Jitsu and free combat and Baqing boxing. Um, and um, let's see, there's a number of them. Um, Chinese traditional uh, Kung Fu. And so one of the things that uh, make him very special is that he uh, is both a theater 
major and a music major. So I think you're going to be like maybe a junior in theater, but a sophomore in music. Is that correct? Something like that. So um, at any rate, we're delighted to have him in the music department. Um, he uh, would like to join, interestingly enough, the Navy SEALs when he ends his undergrad. And then he would like to go and make movies and uh, um, on with stories and use his talents in singing and acting and the martial arts. So today he's going to be uh, singing uh, Torna Sorrento um, by Ernesto de Curtis. Hi, my name is Xiao Li, and today I'm bringing the song Torna Sorrento. can hear you you're on okay. so go ahead and introduce okay. introduce Dominique okay hi everyone sorry that my computer battery died just at the <laughs> wrong time um I Dominique uh, came 
to me about, oh, just a few months ago, she had had nodules and was recovering, you know, had been with a doctor and recovering from that. She's a student at Oklahoma State University, but she's studying with me. And um, she's just a joy to teach. And she has done so well. She's one of those students that just gets it. And uh, so she's been amazing, and I just love her. And she is going to sing O Mio Babino Caro from Gianni's Tiki Babicini. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry that we that your battery died, but thank you for hanging in there with us as long as you did. <laughs> okay, and I don't know if I'll be able to hear it through your phone or not, but I'm gonna I leave you on. I'll leave you on and you can see. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Tom Buchanan, and I am being taught by Miss Diana Walker Lee, and tonight I'll be singing Omeo Babino Caro by Bucci. job beautiful job Dominique <clears throat> that was gorgeous uh, I'm delighted <laughs> this afternoon to introduce my student Megan Masson who has studied with me at Loyola Marymount University for seven out of eight semesters um, it was in her fifth semester your junior year right Megan that um, I got to, uh, to, to gift Lori with uh, Megan um, and um, because she was awarded an internship at the Disney World in Orlando. And I knew exactly with whom she should study, and that is Lori Moran. And so uh, that was a wonderful, wonderful time. It was a gift to me as well. <laughs> well, it was, it was so much fun. And she came back singing High Seas, and that's just wonderful. So um, thank you, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a joy. 
Yeah, it was lots of fun and I heard about it and it was just wonderful. So um, due to the COVID-19, here's another sad story that we've had a, a number of times. Megan should have given her beautifully prepared and expressively um, prepared um, recital, senior recital uh, this past spring on April 17th. And so today she is going to sing one um, of the things that was off of her recital um, uh, by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart called Alma del Gran, or Alma Grande e Nobile Core. And this translates as a noble, uh, or a large soul and a noble heart will always spurn um, him who has been faithless to me. And she did this as a audition for, I cannot remember exactly what that was, but um, I was so glad she put it up uh, to a video for us and she shares it with us here.
Alexis uh, uh, Di Donato um, is a musical theater actress, singer, and she graduated from Syracuse University in the musical theater program. And she has uh, been on Broadway with Les Mis, and she has toured, toured uh, national tours. Um, I, she said the last one was Yo Gabba Gabba Live tour. <laughs> she played. To Toadie in Yo Gabba Gabba Live Tour, so I, I'm not familiar with that show, but um, she, um, as I said, um, has done has done Les Mis and has also a, a degree in from Syracuse, and she is um, a lovely inspiration to all of us. She took first place at Nats two years ago in contemporary and. Uh, Yes, I think it was, con what, no, it was musical theater, adult musical theater. And so uh, she is performing to build a home from the bridges of Madison County. She grabs 
Megan, fabulous. Thank you. Yes, Kedley, yes. Kelly. Kelly. Kayla. So let's again, Katie, can you unmute yourself? And Louis, Louise and Nancy, can you and Lauren, can you unmute yourself? There. Okay, on the count of three, everybody, let's give a round of applause. One, two, three. <laughs> And let's give a hearty round of applause to Lori for the countless hours she put in doing this. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you very much. I promise I'll put in some more hours in learning how to work this. I'm thinking you know, we can investigate a cappella. The finger doesn't time. work as fast as it used to. Um, so. This whole thing, I gotta hand it to all of you youngsters out there people working on this uh zoom thing this is not <laughs> i mean it's it's making some cobwebs kind of come loose here <laughs> man well easy <laughs> we have some work to do before august and uh i'm thinking we can investigate acapella which is made for music <laughs> and uh anyway um Thank you all so much for joining us. It's hanging in there. And uh, it's a wonderful experience to see you and hear you, even if it wasn't perfect, you know, even if uh, Zoom wasn't the most, yeah. <laughs> so we'll, we've learned, I've learned a lot of lessons. Um, by the way, for singers, you all can participate again, just because you did this one. I know this was such a great experience. You want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> want to run right out and sign up. Yeah. But, um, the, those of you that, that um, recorded yourself on a phone, those are the those are the ones that are the grainier images. Um, you can see, I think Jaden, Jaden's video was probably the clearest. Um, and I think Jaden, did your mom and dad did they use a video? Uh, did they use a camera to to tape you to record you? Or did they use a phone? <laughs> they use Jayden, a camera. they used a camera, honey. They used a camera to film you, Jaden. Did you use a camera or a phone, honey? Can you say that again? I didn't hear you. A phone. Okay, they oh, used a phone. Oh. 
Well, I got it. The bigger the file, obviously, um, but some of them were like, you know, 23 <laughs> megabytes and, and it was just, anyway, but we'll all learn. <laughs> And I just so appreciate all of you. And I, this was last so, minute. Yeah. I know. So, so anyway, so I had to make a dance studio. It was like a really last minute. So I appreciate all but of you doing this. And, um, and uh, looking forward know, to the next that, time. And work on. Sorry, I know. We can't <laughs> figure out who that sound I, coming I from. Know. I was trying to figure out if it's someone. Hello. There we go. I'm going to mute Lauren, see if that's him. Maybe it's Lauren. Because it's somebody that obviously isn't sitting in front of their computer. <laughs> OK. Um, but it. Uh, OK. Somebody in the, somebody in the, uh, well, anyway, vloggers for you out there. Anyway, uh, we will do this again, and I promise I'll be, Suzanne will school me in some of it, and any of you that have, uh, at Lisa, I, thank you, thank you for coaching me along. Um, any of you that have suggestions, please send them along, and we'll get better at this, but keep working on your music. That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> Learn your songs, learn your music, and um, and then we'll just keep going. That's this is. It's hard to believe that this is how it's going to be for a while, but it it's looking like it's going to be this way for a while. So, can I say one little thing? Yeah. I just wanted to say one thing. You know, because the sound was so in and out, and you guys were amazing. But I wanted to say one thing: is your poise and confidence really came across. So you all looked fabulous hey. and we're sorry that the little good just because of this, you know, but we got it and it was wonderful and you, and you were amazing. Just wanted to say that. Thank you. You have to know that that's Lisa Verlo. She's oh. the writer uh, with her husband of The Door, the, the musical. She has her own show. That, oh, uh, what is it called now, Lisa? It's, the name has changed. Over the well, Holly Wouldn't was the one, but Holly I'm actually, Wood I've got a new one coming out called... Um, Rockstar Unraveled. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Very gifted. And thank, thank you, you so for much for joining us. My goodness. Yeah. Well, and, and all of you have such, there's so much going on with everybody uh, sitting here. And um, I'm just grateful that all of you took the time and not only time to be here today, but the time that it took to get all of this together and, you know, to get your recordings done and to learn the music and, and the time that you're taking with your teachers in preparation and um, that's at the end of the day, uh, that's what it's all about. And uh, I, I really believe that, I, I mean, there's gotta be some good that's coming out of all this madness that's going on. And, I don't know about you, but I feel like I can just sit and play the piano. Uh, I have time that I didn't have before. And I've, I've started writing music that I never, I mean, it's just coming out of me. Like, not, I can't write lyrics. Don't ask me to write lyrics. If anybody knows a good lyricist out there, I'd like to meet them. Lisa, but, Lisa, she's a wonderful lyricist. But I got just music just like coming out. and. And I'm writing it. I'm just like recording it. But uh, your creative, hopefully, the time that you're, the time that you have at home, um, we can find some ways to let it, to let this time build up and 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 be useful to you in creative ways instead of just making you crazy, <laughs> like it does in in so many cases. Um, so. Binge watching. <laughs> yes, a lot of that going on too. So um, I know that now some of your videos too, I know it didn't play. I think Greta, I think there was a little problem with the beginning of yours. All of these things, they're all on video on the YouTube page. They're all on YouTube. And I will go back and I'm going to correct any, anything that was, I'm going to go back and double check and see if there were any problems. I promise I'll fix them. 
And if you look on the Facebook, the Lauren Moran Music Facebook page, um, and on the home page of the website, we're going to also have a link there. So um, we'll get it fixed. We didn't have it quite ready for prime time today. But that's just because we were literally flying by the seat of our pants. But um, we want to we wanna encourage you to, to stick with it, and we'll stick with it too. So did anybody, I've been talking too much. So anybody have anything you want to say? Unmute yourself and talk. I mean, yeah, I think everybody is unmuted, pretty much. No, Barbara. No, no, Barbara's not unmuted. Kelly's uh, not unmuted. Greta's not unmuted. Oh, no, Layla's not good. Okay, good. I'm just glad to be a part of this. Thank you so much. And Lori, thank you and Suzanne for your work of putting these teachers all together. Thank you very, very much. You're an inspiration. So are you, Barbara. <laughs> yes. Right. All of you are. Next time I'll be more help. <laughs> oh, you were. You well, can, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, I think you can print out the chat if there's some comments you want out of the, out of the chat. So. Yes, that's lovely. There's a couple more. Yeah, some beautiful, beautiful voices here. It's just yeah. marvelous and so expressive mm -hmm. and um, so directed. It's really marvelous to see. <laughs> there's the... Well, I see a lot of people have signed off, so um, if anyone who wants to add something this would be the time no everybody was really fantastic i had a great time everybody's very talented yeah, um, don't yeah i was blown away so great job everybody thank you Dominique. you too Dominique. Dominique. it's such a pleasure to have you join look us look down the aisle at, Ma um, at at megan that's where you're going <laughs> Hopefully you'll have a senior recital, but um <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, everyone well, did such a great fun. job. This is so fun. Yes. Well, we're gonna uh, try and figure some way for Megan to get her senior recital in this fall. Yes. Yes. Great. Well, thank you, everybody, and Katie, uh, you there? Did you want to add a comment? Is she? I see her window there, but I don't. Oh, she's not. She's muted. She's muted. So I don't know. Well, I, I unmuted everybody. I mean, I, oh, really? I asked everyone to well, unmute. Well, maybe she muted herself or something. Yeah, she, okay. must have, she must have muted herself or didn't unmute herself. I can say one more thing, too. Um, there are actually a lot of opportunities now because people are starting to get you know, the idea that okay, this is the only place we can perform now. So I want to encourage all of you because my, my show was supposed to go on the day before it all went into effect. So I had to cancel it. Oh. Um, yeah, the show Hollywood. And luckily, I had done a preview in January, but, but my big one at the Solo Fest, it was supposed to be. Um, but there are so many things right now going on. So there's opportunities for you to put your art out there and be, um, be part of events. Um, so just look for them. Look for them because it's great practice. And so, like you said, it's a creative time. Lori, it's amazing creative time. I myself just wrote a song the other day. And like, yeah, but um, just look for those opportunities to, to be out there and share your art. Because you, you have so much creativity. Do you have a website, Lisa, that you want to put in the in the chat? Not right now, but well, if I, I can think of some, I'll I'll forward them to Suzanne okay. and she can, yeah. Okay. I didn't know if you had one, um, if you had a website of your own that for for your. Oh yeah, well not right now, but I I know I should. <laughs> I've been more just getting it out there in Instagram and social media, so you can look me up on that. But okay. um, yeah, thank you though for asking. Okay. Well, we're so glad you came. And um, just thank you all for joining us. And next time, ask your, ask your grandparents, ask your parents, your brothers and sisters and cousins and uncles. And we, you know, the more the merrier. And um, we'll, we'll have it polished a little bit better next time. I'll have, I'll have my Dell, my big fat Dell all it's sitting on my desk, but it's just not picked up yet. So mm -hmm. I'll have it all hooked up and ready to go. Now. <laughs>
Thanks again, Lori, for everything. Thank you. Thank you all. Have a great Saturday. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Wonderful. Bye, Jen. Good. <laughs>